What's up guys, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Cree back at it again with another Borderlands 3 video. Guys, in this Borderlands 3 video, we're going to be doing a Mayhem 10 showcase on the legendary Jacob's Pistol, uh, the Wagon Wheel here. So I actually, I, I did have two uh, Wagon Wheels, except one was consecutive, the other one is 100% bonus ASC Corrosive. Uh, we are taking this, uh, this Wagon Wheel with us today uh, for a few reasons. Uh... The main reason why we're gonna bring be bringing this magnet wheel, uh, because ASC when uh, like the elemental ACs are like now so much more useful. Uh, plus, uh, this one does have a bit higher damage roll, and uh, the the other wagon wheel's passive was like I think minus 30% weapon damage or something. So this one's just gonna be overall do more damage. Uh, it's gonna be pretty dope. Uh, we're gonna give it a nice little Athena's run and stuff. Now I did I did uh, was playing with this round this gun a little bit earlier. Uh, I would say that this gun is definitely not going to be used in any mobbing, uh, like mobbing. This knife is going to be used in any bossing circumstances. Uh, there's plenty of better bossing Jacob's weapons out there, uh, be better bossing uh, Jacob's pistols for that matter. Uh, but this one is going to be very unique for uh, mobbing purposes because uh, basically the way it works whenever you, I'm pretty sure it's whenever you just hit crits, um, you're going to, you, you shoot out an like, additional circle of bullets. Um, as a wheel think of you know think of a wagon wheel you think like an actual wagon wheel dude you know you have like your wheel and then you have the center point the center point of it and then you have like you know the bunch of uh oh, god jesus god bless myself i mean you could yeah the rims like the rims of, the, of a wagon wheel dude i'm <laughs> you have the wheel boom 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 think of all these as extra bullets you'll i mean you'll see what i'm talking about uh, later on in the video uh and oh you'll actually go ahead and go over our setup that we're using that'd probably be pretty useful uh, so here's our, our actual wagon wheel itself uh 5700 damage 61 percent accuracy 68 percent handling a one a very a pretty actual uh, relatively solid uh, reload time a very fast fire rate for a jacob's weapon or for pistol uh, for jacob's pistol uh but even the lag ma the, the low mag size does kind of hurt uh even with a super fast fire rate there's gonna be a lot of shooting and reloading uh we are using a jacob's flak build uh real quick uh we're using uh two fang we have to max out two fang here gets more use out of the uh, wagon wheel our second intention uh, i would prefer if i could put more into it but uh due to cir certain circumstances uh we can so i mean uh, we're gonna have to roll with just the two. We have uh, we have max lead no trace interplanetary stalker. Actually, nothing in a hundred eye. This is just from our class mod. Uh, three in the big game, most dangerous game. We max that galactic shadow megavar, obviously. Oops. Uh, and then here is our stalker tree. Max Furious, max overclock, turn tail, licking the wounds. All my BFFs. Uh, fast and nefarious and power inside. Uh, and then three out of five in self crank system, double capstone, and then we do have persistence hunter. Uh, then we do have the uh, three. Oh, uh, Shafade. <sighs> Excuse me, a little bit of a yawn. Not my circus, and until you are dead. And um, then we do have an old god, uh, my Tezos Hunter Seeker. Pearl, you know, for obvious reasons. I love this pearl. It's so goddamn good. And a beautifully, perfectly rolled stack bot for this uh, build. Or for uh, for the, any Jacob's pistol I have. So, it uh, totally works out in our favor. So, uh, with that being said, though, guys, we're going to go ahead and we're just gonna uh get right into the showcase get right down to business show what this thing can do i know i already know it's a really good mobbing gun uh but yeah with that being said let's go ahead and just get right into it so we are here we have some enemies i want to get freaking bodied and uh yeah oh uh dot damage on flak instantly dies that's happens a lot on flak man now, uh, I would say that this gun is definitely uh, going to be way, like, okay, this goes for any Jacob's weapon, but especially for this gun, uh, any type of, uh, any way you can apply more elements to this to uh, this pistol, it's going to be, it's just going to be that much better. So, uh, like, I would say that the best Vault Hunters to have this gun on, uh, obviously Flak, because it's Jacob's weapon, and then uh, Amar, because of how, I mean, how easily you can apply bonus elements to any weapon uh, when you're on her. Uh, out of context, that sounds a bit weird. But yeah, uh, Amara and Flag, I would say that this is probably the best uh, weapons for the, uh, or best Vault Hunters for the Wagon Wheel. And uh, most Jacob's weapon in general. Uh, just in my personal opinion. Uh, but yeah. Jeez, I wish sometimes I had like more in the magazine than just six. Or, I mean, we have a 50% mag size, so we technically even only have, I mean, you only have four. But. Uh, I would prefer if we could, like, dude, imagine if we put, like, like the Maggie, bro. We have so much more shots in the Maggie, which is awesome. I love the Maggie, dude. It's so goddamn good. It really is still a freaking beast. And uh, my accuracy sucks with Jacob's pistols, dude. 
There we go, dude. Yeah, see, once again, anytime you can apply it, the more ASCs you can apply, uh, the better. It's always going to work out really well. But yeah, I mean, once again, dude, mobbing gun, this is a, this is a, a very top tier mobbing gun. Uh, for sure. It's awesome. I was playing around with it in the Malawan takedown. I was actually doing a pretty uh, awesome job. And there, can't even cap. Can't even, can't even cap. Really good. Especially because, uh, like, since you look at all like the extra pu like bullets that we're able to proc with. Oh Jesus Christ, dude! Dot damage engine that kills me. Good old flacky packy. But like uh, having the ability to uh, like just uh, like shoot out extra bullets, just like casually, dude, it's uh, very awesome. Um, it just allows for the other mobbing potential to be there. It's really high. It's awesome. And then I, oh, it's not that high whenever you miss all your shots in your clip. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, very, pretty awesome weapon, for sure. Plus, dude, on Amara, you can, I can, like, reload. I can get way faster reload, bro. And Zane. Although, uh, Jacob's weapons, uh, and Zane, generally, I mean, I mean, I just prefer Flak, uh, with Jacob's weapons. <laughs> it's just so perfect, bro. You can apply elements to him with, uh, like, a uh, rack attack and, uh, three-shot fadeaway. And then, Jesus, dude, can I actually hit my shots? And then you can easily get consecutive crits uh, to ricochet off, uh, to ricochet your pellets, um, which is, you know, just helps. That's the thing with Jacob's weapons, you know. You, uh, bullets that are crits ricochet. Very helpful, very helpful. Especially on things like the stagecoach and stuff are fucking amazing. And the cure for that matter. Although the cure is just a bit of, it's just a weaker stagecoach. Like, that's what I'm talking about, dude. Seriously. Dude, what if Flak got an ability to be immune to fucking dot damage, bro? That'd be so awesome. That'd be great. You don't need to give Flak life steal. You don't need to do that. You give Flak any percent of life steal, he just becomes too strong. But some some extra health regen, or maybe immunity to dot damage. Just ah, he just becomes he. he ah. The survivability would just be a little bit nicer, in my opinion. Just a personal IMO. There you go, see? That's what I'm talking about, Broski. Whenever you uh, can do stuff like that. Whenever you can just ricochet off the mobs, bro, and do massive damage, it's very awesome. But yeah, dude, uh, the... So far, dude, the Wagon Wheel is actually really fucking good. Like, I mean, the Wagon... I, I've never really uh, was a... I wouldn't say I was a big fan. I just never really used the Wagon Wheel. Uh, like, hardly ever. I bet this thing in Mayhem 4 was a fucking beast. Uh, I mean, in Mayhem 10, bro, especially when, like, when Mayhem 10 first came out, a lot of weapons just fell, like, straight on the... Like, straight on their face, dude. So, I still have a lot of other, like, guns and stuff that I want to experiment and play with. Uh, which is going to be awesome. Like, I have some uh, Boomsicles I can play around with. Uh, I have some more backburners I can play around with. I just have some toys in the vault that I might be doing some more showcases on uh, in the future. So just uh, be on the lookout for that, for sure, for sure. Can you look at my face, like, so I can... Massacre, dude. Those entire, the entire troop, troops of mobs, completely done. <laughs> the mobs are so, dude. The, the fucking, this thing's so goddamn good, bro. Speed, but like on the single target damage, it's just not nearly as strong. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can rick it. Come, quit. You. What are you doing? Yeah, you're you're distracted by my pet. Look at dude. Look at all the bullets from dude. Jesus, dude. Look at the wagon wheel. It's crazy. Please come on. Thank you. Uh, let's go kill a few more enemies up here, and then we'll kill Tron. That's the spirit. 
like Tron freaking eat his eat, eat his words or whatever. Dude, this thing's a monster. At least for mobbing. At least for the mobbing purposes. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of Tron to do some damage. Although uh, for bossing, uh, this thing is not like insanely impressive. But it does have its uh, it does have its uses. For sure, for sure. Like if there's more mobs like around him, I bet it, uh, it'd be doing it performing. It it would be performing way better against uh, Tron right now. But I mean, it's still pretty. It's still good. Especially, you know, for my ping. Dude, I need to do a, a showcase on the web slinger, bro. But I'm not actually going to take it. Like, I'm not going to show how good it is against enemies. I'm going to show how good it is against uh, scaling up walls like a fucking, like your Spider-Man, dude. It's going to be awesome. It's so crazy, bro. They put a gun that shoot that, like, literally is designed to help you scale walls like a fucking spider. Everyone's like, wow, what kind of, what kind of thing, what kind of... What kind of raid weapon is this that doesn't do any damage? Like, and then we're like, oh, because it's supposed to, you know, help you scale walls like a fucking spider, bro. That's so sick. Yo, imagine if it took the community, like, over a month and a half to figure out how, like, that's the actual purpose of the web slinger instead of, like, just under a week. Could you imagine all the memes and all the, like, how much the gun would be clowned on and be like, bro, you're not even using it right. <laughs> Okay, let's actually let's go check out our loot real quick. See if it's anything uh ter not terrible. Nope. Nope. All right. So let's just go ahead and uh, recheck out our thing. So here is our wagon wheel once again. Uh, we got an ASC, a corrosive, 100%. That's very very valuable. Uh, and then here's our socketry once again. Double capstone. We all, we uh, I always be, uh, run double capstone builds for. Uh, I always run double capstone builds uh, on flag for showcase. They're just real versatile, real useful, and helps out uh, every weapon. Plus, you know, flag just does a lot of damage naturally, which is always really awesome. Uh, but yeah, guys, you know, max out the two fangs, stalker tree, persistence hunter, you know, whole kick kaboom and everything like that. Anyway, so guys, that's just about wrap up the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, then go ahead, drop your love and that like button, and subscribe if you are new. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to my tier two and tier three members, Lost Grace, the homie Chase, Tanita Award, and our homie uh, Squirrel with a Gun. You guys are some true homies. I do appreciate uh, your uh, membership. You guys are some true, true homies. And uh, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I know the Guardian Takedown did get a little bit of uh, a nice, solid uh, fix today, so I'll probably be start running through it a little bit more uh, on some of my other characters like Xander Mose. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, with that being said, though, guys, my name is Creek. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.